Ariel Hawani in Atlanta for UFC 236 alongside Alan Joban, who meets Dwight Grant this Saturday night. Welcome back, Alan. It has been a while, my friend. What is it, like 14 months? Exactly, 14 months, man. The longest, I think, even since I was fighting Muay Thai before MMA back in the day, I've never had a 14-month layoff, man. I've always been a very active fighter. I think my first year in the octagon, I was uh, like five fights roughly within a year. So this has been a long a long layoff for me and uh, I was just telling someone man like I was I was nervous on the weight on the travel here you know I hadn't done the flight in a while and then uh, once I've got once I got here man like I, I remembered it's exciting it's exciting being here in fight week doing these interviews having the fight built uh, and kind of like coming to the end of this long process so I, I've been enjoying it since I've been back so you were dealing with a neck injury yeah. correct also foot injury foot injury from the fight Right. with Ben and then a neck injury which took me out of another fight and then an elbow injury that I just cleaned up after that so it was three three of them that accumulated for that four months probably the most serious would be the neck yeah 100 percent how serious was it uh you know it, it, it was two herniated disc and one of them just needed to be repaired so I went in there and did that and um it, it, it it's uh you know a bigger procedure absolutely but I did my research and I spoke with the UFC and I, and, and I, and I sought out um, fighters who had had these same injuries. And so it turns out there was a tremendous amount of them. And I don't want to name names because everybody likes to keep their thing private. But a lot of big names, a lot of uh, former champions, a lot of guys that are still doing very well in the UFC and other organizations competing at the highest level. Um, and they had had this surgery. Some of them had had numerous surgeries like this, which is very uh, eye-opening for me. So. Um, it made me feel tremendously better that there's all these guys in my profession doing it and moving on because I didn't know where I was at. You know, you get an injury and, and the doctors give you the bad news at first and you kind of think the first thing is, what about my career? And, and they're not really sure because a lot of doctors, they're not really familiar with combat sports. You know, they, they're used to working on the football player, but they're not really sure about neck cranks and punching in the face. But, um, yeah, I was able to come back, man. A lot of guys came back from it. Um, I wanted to make sure my body was in tip-top shape, so I did a three-month training camp, and everything felt fine. And, um, yeah, man, I'm back as I was and probably better than I ever has because I, I was training for a long time with accumulation of just uh, being hurt for a while. You know, it wasn't like a one-time injury. It was just accumulation of the sport. That, that, that's put pressures on these discs. And um, and so now that I have that fixed up, man, I feel good. Do you find that you are appreciating fight week and the process a little more? Because I'm sure when you found out about a neck injury, the doubt of maybe never fighting again starts to creep in. So do you feel like you have now like a, a new lease on your career here? I do, man. I do. You're right. Um, like I was just saying about the nerves coming here were a lot. And then now that I'm here, um, I missed it. I really did miss it, um, and uh, I wonder when I walk to the octagon how I'm going to feel because uh, because I know that I, that I could have not made that walk again, and now, I'm, now I get to do it, and it's been 14 months, and I'm finally coming back and doing what I love, and, and, and on a great platform, man, coming back on a pay-per-view card, getting on the main card, and having the opportunity against an opponent that I feel like uh, we could put on a great show, so um, I'm just going to take it all in, go out there. I'm always very goal-oriented business first and I will be that mindset but I feel like there's gonna be a piece of me because of what you just said uh, that is also gonna be absorbing I was just talking to my coach the other day about I learned to enjoy the journey now in fighting because uh, I'm 37 years old and I used to put so much pressure on myself that it's like what if you in your career today and you say you know I had a decent career but man I hated every fight week I hated every session I hated this and that then, it w then why did you spend 15 years of your life committed to it? And so I've learned to enjoy the process and take all this in, enjoy fight week, fight week do fun things with my team. Uh, I started bringing my family. It was kind of like no family allowed. It was business. And now I bring my son and my wife to the fights, uh, and I, I find myself enjoying it so much more. Wow. This is the first time your son comes? The last fight was it, man. Ben, when I fought Ben Saunders, my, that was my, my son's first fight, and my wife was there with him, and then... The feeling that I had inside of me, it took away that nervous energy that I normally have um, where I'm like talking to myself in my head. And I kept looking literally out into the stands and looking at my son and it, I, it, it built this this fire inside of me. And, and I would look at him and I would look at Ben and there was no nervous energy. And, and I wanted that again. So after that fight, I told my son, you can come to every fight from now on, man. So yeah, he, he's coming uh, he enjoy tomorrow. Enjoy it. He loved it. He loved it. And I, after the fight, I got to bring him under the, you know, in the back, and, and he kind of saw everything that happens there. And, 
You know, I prepared him. Uh, things might not go daddy's way all the time, but but he's so involved in the sport, watching it with me that he knows it's not like uh, it's not brutality. It's not violence to him. It's this guy is ahead right now. You know, this guy's winning. He understands it. But um, all in all, having my family here, it, it, it keeps me a little more calm. When I used to not, I thought it would be a distraction, but it's not. It, it, it fuels me. We've seen some fighters get emotional on the walk to the cage. Some openly cry. You think you'll be emotional? I don't think on the walk to the cage, through the cage. But, um, man, fighting, um, fighting strips down your guard, strips down your barriers. Uh, anything that you're hiding and for me people handle things in different way for me after fights uh, it's hard to control my emotions I'm so happy I'm so grateful I'm so emotional when I see my family uh, I get all teary-eyed you know so uh, I told my son I said I said after the fight when you see me if I point towards you you run to the octagon and you just tell him that's my dad I'm coming in the octagon I go you've seen many blessed right uh, 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 Rush is his name I think I said you see what he does I want you in the octagon with me you climb the cage you do whatever you got to do get in there with me so I want to share that experience with him I mean many bus like runs the show here He's so awesome. I'm a fan I looked up his Instagram he has got like 17,000 followers I think I might have to go follow him after this he's a good dancer he's got personality he's a cute kid man by the way, I just want to let you know, you're not fighting the rapper Beanie Siegel. I, I, okay, because I, I don't know if you saw that online. Everybody has sent me that. Okay. And, uh, my sponsor, one of my sponsors, Sanibel, they sent me this link to promote it, and then they sent me a corrected one. Here's the, here's the updated information with Beanie Siegel. And I go, no, no, you had it right. That I don't know how that happened. I think Beanie Siegel's original name was yes. Dwight, Dwight Grant. Is that what it is? And I think so Google is like mixed up by that. There's some confusion there, but I, I've definitely been, uh, I've seen that this whole, this whole camp. Well, it's good to see you back. You look Thank great you. as always. Very Thank businesslike, you. but casual as well. Yeah. Whatever you're doing here, it works. Yes. I appreciate that coming. I think from you. so, of course. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I know. I know the the neck injury is a serious thing, especially in fighting. So, uh, well done on getting back here, and of course, good luck on Saturday night. Thank you, man. I look forward to it.